Hi, we're, we're back, back again. again. Did you miss us? We, we missed, missed all of you. Today we have a very important message. It's about long suffering. What does long suffering mean? Is patience one of the fruit of the spirit? Is patience. That's what Galatians five twenty two says. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. How important is patience? Revelation 14.12 says, Here is the patience of the saints. God's people at the end of time, one character stands out is that they have patience. I guess it must be very important because it's found in the book of Revelation. But why is patience so important? During these times we live in, it's really easy to get angry. It's easy to get stressed out. And these two things are enough to ruin a person's life. It can make us do bad, bad things. Things that we could regret for the rest of our life. And patience is the medicine to help us overcome all the bad situations we face. How? You see, patience can give us peace. It helps us to slow the situation down. It helps us not to act rationally. It can help us to accept or endure, delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. It's the pause that helps us to get our thoughts back in order and our feelings under control. It helps us to trust God and to wait on Him so that His perfect plan can be worked out in each of our lives. I know that many people during this time in 2020 have been going through many stressful things and we need patience more today, more than ever before. You see, that's why the saints in Revelation, they have patience because many bad things are going to happen at the end of time. Matthew 24, 7 says, For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famine, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. Many things will happen that will test our patience. That's why the saints need patience. Big pestilence happening today. Matthew 24, 9 says, then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. People will hate me because I believe in Jesus and follow Jesus. That's what the Bible says. So instead of hating them bad, the Bible tells us what to do. Matthew 24, 13 but he who endures to the end shall be saved. Now do you see why patience is so important? We must endure. We must be patient if we want to see Jesus come at the end of time. But how can we have this patience? The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient. If we have true love, we can have true patience. Patience. The foundation of patience is love. And furthermore, in 1 John 4, 8, we read, He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. If you want to have patience today, if you are feeling fretful, if you are feeling anxious, or maybe you're feeling worried, let us learn to put our trust in God today because He will give us His love and He will give us joy. And most of all, He will give us long suffering because at the end of love, we will find patience, just like at the end of the rainbow. They say we find a pot of gold which we know is not true. But definitely at the end of love, we will find long suffering. But today, we need to find true love because that is the foundation for everything we need to get through the troublous time we're living in today. Have you found Jesus yet? Have you tasted of His goodness? Do you know He can help you? Will you pray with us today? As we pray for you, dear Jesus, many people are troubled today. We know you're the Prince of Peace, and you want to give everyone your love so that they can have that patience that can help them through all their troubles. Please come into all our hearts today. Please help each person 
to read their Bibles or find someone that can teach them about Jesus. Thank you for we pray in your name. Amen. Thank you for being patient. Thank you. And taking the time to listen to us. We hope you were blessed. And see you next time.